I'm Dominic Stevens. Over the past year or so, the New Zealand dollar has seemed unstoppable in its rise against the Australian dollar. But this week, the Reserve Bank of Australia put paid to that when it cancelled its easing bias and announced that instead, the, the Australian cash rate was likely to remain unchanged for a period. The Kiwi dollar over the past week or so has fallen from 94 cents against the Aussie down to about 92, and we'd suggest that the near-term pullback's got a little bit further to go. When we look across 2014 as a whole, we're forecasting the New Zealand dollar to average about 94 cents against the Australian dollar, but we don't expect it's going to reach parity. And that means we're going to have to put away the streamers and cancel the parity party just like we did in the mid-1990s and again in the mid-2000s. Now the main piece of local news was the labour market data, which was pretty much as expected. The unemployment rate ticked lower from 6.2% to 6.0, and employment growth was really quite strong at 1.1% in the quarter, mainly driven by Canterbury and Auckland. Wage growth, on the other hand, has, has remained very subdued, and I'd suggest that that's because of recent low inflation in New Zealand. I don't think that suite of labour data really changes the story as far as the New Zealand economy is concerned. We're still in the grip of a powerful economic upturn and we still expect the Reserve Bank to hike the OCR by 25 basis points in early March. Talk to you next week.